hi everyone hope you're learning and doing very well so today is our 22nd episode of store management system in asp.net mvc.net 7 uh, before we start let me give you the update what i have done recently so i have updated my visual studio uh, to the latest version and there are some changes and currently our store is on dotnet 7 uh, so once you have your store built in dotnet 7 you might have seen uh, some errors like this let me give you the idea you can see some errors like this that uh, view not found uh, although if you go to the code and see you will find that the file already exists in the in the code base so why is that so so there is some update in uh, you know dotnet 7 we need to install a separate package for that one to uh, find those few on runtime and uh, how we can install those for that one just let's go to the nuget package manager here we need to find a package with name microsoft or razor runtime compilation so we need to install that one let me quickly install this because all views exist inside a uh, web app so we only need to install that in that project as soon as that is in installed we can just run the application again and this time this error should be um, removed by default let me quickly refresh okay this time now we have that um database connection error and that's totally fine because i have updated my sql server as well so currently there is no database like that in my sql server uh which means that uh, i need to run those set of migrations uh as well so let me quickly run those migration and database will get created um as a result of those running migrations as the migrations are run and uh, now we should not have that database connection error anymore uh, now we will still have that view not found because although we have installed that package but we haven't used it inside our um, program.cs file uh, let's have a look and let's add that line somewhere after let's say controllers we can add that line here and here we need to add um, builder dot services dot um mvc and after that we need to add add razor uh, runtime compilation uh, add razor runtime compilation something like that let the razor views compiled on save right what i mean by that is now we don't need to rename the whole application if we only change the uh, views uh, and now if i run the application we should able to see our view inside the browser it's just getting refreshed and uh, once it's done we should now able to see our view all right we have now we can see that uh, our application and it's restored uh, let's now remove the comment and rerun the application we should now able to see the login view if um, i'm not logged in already let's have a look okay now we have previously you know again that view is appearing as previously so that was my username and my password was one two three four five six all right so now i can again uh, create store and add products against the store so that was one thing i want to show to in today's video and uh, a part of it is let's say now i want to change um let's see i want to update text of a button uh let's say it's really a login here and i now just need to press ctrl s 
i don't need to uh, update the whole application you can see login here is now uh, visible and as soon as i remove that string i will not rerun the application i will refresh the page now we have login you know text again so that was the second thing in today's uh, video third thing it's about the migrations so every time whenever we deploy our application or we configure this application into some other system currently we have to run update migration from here in the uh, package manager console which should not be the case right so those changes should be pushed to the new database as soon as we launch the application in whatever system we want right uh, we can achieve that by using the by configuring the auto migration thing as soon as application launch code should check if there is any pending migration inside the code and that is the beauty of code first that we have control of our whole code base so for that one what we'll need is we need to add an extension method again um, because we don't want to make this program.cs file messy we have moved all those di related stuff into a separate library if i go to the implementation here you can see all the configuration related to this project is here just like that we can create a method here for applying any pending migration on any uh, on every application start right so for that one we can use or create a method let's say we can add a simple method and name it handle migrations uh, handle pending migrations right and that should be extension method against i service provider like this and the uh, uh, next thing is i want to i want to get the registered db context of this application so for that one i can pull that through existing services like this get required service and here i want to pull not here exactly i should first go with uh, i should create a scope here first why because i don't want to expose any code i want to write for my uh, i want to write for my uh, migration stuff right i have created that scope next thing i want to do is uh, pull that db context from scope here i will use get required service and inside this i will pull post management db context the db context of this application and then i will do is first of all i would like to i would want to check if there are any pending migrations so i will do db context dot database dot get there is a there is a method available for that inside that db context uh, class which can give us the list of pending and pending migrations we can check if there is any then go ahead and apply those migrations this and if i add comments those will be like checking if there is an pending migrations in the code by the migrations pull db context services from registered services and uh, yeah we can just refactor by using that scope and uh, before using that using keyword we are making sure that as soon as code control goes out of these spaces whole set of those objects should be disposed automatically okay so that was one thing creating that handler next thing we again need to go back to the uh, program.cs and we need to configure somewhere here check if there is any pending migration then apply on and here i can say app dot this is handle migrations like this and if i 
press ctrl f5 there should be no change in our running application because db is already created and we don't have any new migration in the system if i double click this one or refresh uh, my uh, sql server i have those uh, tables there uh one thing i want to just demonstrate before closing this episode is let me close the connection of uh, the database like this and if i delete um, this database right and i read on that application so in that case there was no database by default and we even haven't execute a database command so the magic will happen here if there are any pending migrations those should be let me let me close this let me close this and let me close this server okay and let me now rerun this application and currently we don't have any database here uh, inside our server okay now we have that um, system launched and we have that login view and we are trying to log in okay cannot open database required by login login failed all right and what we are doing in the pending migrations here uh, if i double check my connection string which seems fine and inside here maybe is that related to that scope thing uh let me just quickly double check my bad this should be get pending migration not applied migrations ctrl f5 to rename the application and uh, let us refresh this now database has been created automatically and the view should be able to update now so this is how we can apply the any pending migration through code without running that update database command every time whenever we want to um, create database from scratch or whenever we want to check in new migrations uh, as soon as we will run the code the migrations will get applied to that code so that was all from this video let me recap in this video we have uh, discussed two concepts first of all views were not getting loaded because previously i have updated my vs studio to the latest version in dotnet 7 the views are not getting uh, located so we have added support for the razor views here in the from cs file and is a runtime compilation so with the help of this now our views are getting located and plus point is now as soon as we change in our view without rerunning the code or the server we have those changes get reflected inside the running app now the other thing is depending migration so before before uh, today's episode we have to run update database command from package manager console whenever we want to clone or want to set up the project into any system uh, or database is not created before so we have to apply uh, migration through update database command but today we have added a small piece of function which will be configured on app start uh, which will apply if there are any pending migration by default so we don't have to run update up database command every time whenever we uh, want to run this application so those are two things we we have checked we haven't added any um any ui feature we have updated our code and make our application more flexible and uh, reliable and make our database changes and database management more smooth in our next video we will try to see uh, the ui and the features and we will try to add few more feature in this store management system till then the next video in case of any question or query do ask in the comments and keep coding